Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video I wanted to uh, show you a uh, product that one of our uh, users over on the Caternix Corner Facebook group page has developed. Uh, for any of you who are familiar with the Nurture Right 360 incubator, um, you know that they come with a uh, turner that is sized for chicken eggs. Um, you can use this turner for uh, incubating quail eggs, um, but you can only get like 20 eggs in the turner if you use one egg per slot. Um, I have used this before and doubled up the eggs, two per slot, but I've had issues where the eggs kind of turn funny. I've even had some eggs get cracked. Um, but one of our users, uh, JB Paul and his son Spencer, uh, spent some time designing a um, 3D model um, for their printer that they could print up and uh, get twice as many eggs in the uh, egg turner. I'll kind of put these side by side and you can see the difference as far as the number of uh, egg holes. Um, these ones here are sized specifically for quail eggs. Um, I've got a, a batch of eggs in the incubator right now, um, incubating, and what I did was um, the outside ring is obviously gonna get more travel than the inside ring. So what I did is the inside ring, I'll start with the smallest eggs and then go to the next largest eggs for the middle ring, and then the largest eggs will be on the outside ring. That way they're not turning quite so far um, as if you were to put them uh, inside. but. I was really uh, excited to see this come out and I hope that this project takes off and you people who are using the uh, Nurturite 360s uh, to incubate your quail eggs, um, this will be a fine addition for it. Um, I've used it, uh, I've tested it out um, several times, loaded it up with eggs, uh, hit the uh, automatic turner and they, the eggs are, are turning just fine. Like I said, I do have a batch. Uh, in the incubator now, uh, about halfway through the incubation cycle, and um, I'll probably do another video in the future on what kind of a hatch rate I got from that. But I really don't see um, this thing affecting the hatch rate as far as negatively. Um, the one that did come with the Nurturite 360, the one that's designed for the chicken eggs, it did have a negative impact on the hatch rates, mainly because I was doubling up the eggs or they were turning too far. So um, I think this is really a great uh, addition for the uh, people who have Nurturite 360s and want to incubate your quail eggs. Um, this turner here is the original turner and you can see that it's turning the eggs and with the doubled up eggs they are rolling but they are kind of binding up a little bit. Some of the eggs tend to uh, almost stand up on end as it's turning. So while it does work, it's not very efficient and it's not optimal. Uh, if you look at this turner now, uh, the JB Paul turner, um, it seems to turn the eggs smoothly. Um, they don't get cockeyed inside the uh, egg turner slots. So they are rolling kind of uniformly around the incubator. So I think that's a big plus. Um, you can also see that we're getting almost double the amount of eggs in the uh, uh, manufacturer turner or the uh, JB Paul turner as opposed to the uh, turner that came with the 360. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish out this hatch. I'll probably do another video in the future uh, showing what kind of a hatch rate I got on it. But guys, I'm really excited about this new turner. Um, if you do happen to have a Nurture Right 360 and uh, you use it to hatch your quail eggs, uh, you can contact uh, JB Paul on the Caternix Corner Facebook group page um, and talk with him about uh, how you can go about acquiring one of these turners. So I just want to do a real quick video guys to show you this. Um, I uh, have been a little bit uh, negligent in my videos lately. And I apologize for that. I have a, a boat project that I'm working on that is kind of on a time schedule. Uh, so I, I really need to devote 
my time to that right now, but I promise that I will be getting back to a regular um, content schedule here on the channel um, after this project's over with. So guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this uh, useful. And uh, if you did, give us a big thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out and you'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. And uh, thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.